Good morning, welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. Today we're going to explore a new product from Hairline called a Copic Airbrush Kit. Uh, the kit comes with one small air can. This is a large can, um, but it comes with a smaller can. comes with um, the spray nozzle, which you just screw the can in. And then you have to purchase separately two other things. A uh, marker, the Copic markers come in an array of, of colors. Um, and then you would need to get um, your stencil material. And these come in a kit of five, and you can lay over your feathers and get a lot of different patterns. Um, so that's what you need to get started, your airbrush kit, marker, and stencils. Okay. So I have my airbrush assembled, slide my marker in, I'm going to lay my feather down onto a flat surface, actually let's use this feather, and then I'm going to take my stencil of choice and just lay this on top of the feather, making sure to get everything flat. That's the key part. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a combo of two different colors. Um, and here is the end effect. Um, we're going to shoot this with some pink, shift the stencil up a little bit, and then hit it with some purple on white. And you can see it comes through a little bit. You could do the back as well. I've done that on some marabou feathers. I've got the back and the front. So I've got a real nice speckled feather on the inside now. Um, the instructions say to put the chisel point down and that works. You can see I'm getting a little bit. Some of these are a little touchy and I found that I get a little better coverage upside down. Mess with it, see what works for you. So. Okay, so I got my feather here and my stencil over and I'm just going to take my marker here and give her a little spray. And I'm just hitting it with little, little blasts of air. And I don't want to lay a lot of pink on this. So I've got, you can see the pink there. So now I'll just take my stencil, lay it back over there, find where it was, and shift it up a little bit. Got my purple marker. And I'm just going to give some blasts of that here. And then you end up with the purple over pink. Now I just did a quick coverage here and here's what I just did, but the end result is right there. Okay. Um, you know, blacks, purples on blue. Here's a blue with a purple marker on it. So, and I even did a pink and purple on the uh, white. So, um, essentially, you could do a reverse guinea by using. Um, you know, you blue a blue hackle and then laying the stencil over and going black. That would work fine too.